Hi everyone. Hope everyone doing great. Welcome to my YouTube channel Maths by Pius Tiwari Singh. Students, Commerce Maths Standard 12 के हम Maths Practical के solution solve करके upload कर रहे हैं. Till now, अभी तक हमने total 13 practicals Commerce Maths के solve करके upload किए हैं. In today's lecture, we are going to solve practical number 14 on assignment problems. In today's lecture, we are going to see the concepts of assignment problem also. But so practical solve करने इससे पहले आपको assignment problems के concepts clear होने चाहिए. आज के lecture में मैं आप लोगों को assignment problems के थोड़े से concepts explain करूँगा कि उसको कैसे solve किया जाता है. And afterwards, we are going to solve each and every problems of assignment problem. Now, before assignment problem, we already completed 13, 13 practicals in this playlist. In the playlist, आप बच्चों scroll down करके यहाँ पर जाएंगे class 12 commerce math view full playlist. You click on view full playlist and you will getting all the 13 practicals on commerce math standard 12. Please watch it carefully, complete your practical book and do the practice of all the problems in your rough notebook. All these problems are very very important. It will come in your board practical exam and also in board theory exam. Okay, students, now be ready for today's lecture that is practical number 14 on assignment problem. Be ready. Welcome back. Assignment problem. Now, assignment problem and sequencing is the name of chapter number 7 in your Maths Paper 2 Standard 12 Commerce Textbook. What is assignment problem? Assignment problem is a special type of problem which deals with the allocation of various resources to various activities on one to one basis. Assignment problem can be represented by n by n matrix. Assignment problem can be represented by n by n matrix. So what is the meaning of n by n matrix? It means that there are n rows and there are n columns. So it is a square matrix. Here C, C is called as cost. Here C is called as cost. So assignment problem with Jibacho, the n rows or n columns ke under ki entries hai. These entries are the cost, cost of a commodities. Now, which scientists to work on assignment problem? So there is a name of mathematician, Hungarian. Hungarian is the name of mathematician who worked on assignment problem. This is very very important MCQ. Ki assignment problem se kis mathematician ne kaam kiya? Ya, kaun se method ka use karke hum assignment problem solve karte hain? The answer is Hungarian. We are using Hungarian method to solve assignment problem. These are the few important conditions. Please go through it. These are the very very important conditions which may become in the fill in the blanks, true false or MCQ type of the questions. So these are the theory part. Please go through it carefully. Now these are the steps that is called as flow chart of Hungarian method. Start kaise karna hai bacho? Construct the cost matrix. Sabse pehle cost matrix banana padta hai if not given. But in our syllabus, aapko cost matrix exam mein diya hoga. Uh, from that cost matrix, we step number one. Hum log row reduction karte hain. Jise hum bolte row minima. Step number two, column minima. Step number three, draw minimum number of horizontal lines and vertical lines covering all zeros. Then we have to check this. Ye hume check karna hota hai. Ki number of required lines is equal to order of matrix. If yes, then we are going for assignment which is also called as allocation. After finding allocation, we are find the solution and finally process stop. If number of lines not equal to order of matrix, then we are going to choose the least is uncovered element, least uncovered element and then subtract these from the uncovered elements and add it to the elements of the intersection of the lines. Now, ये बच्चों आपको flowchart दिया है. In brief, in brief, मैंने यहाँ पे आपको steps लिख के दिया है. Step 1, Step 2, Step 3. Go through it carefully. आपको पूरे process समझ में आ जाएंगे. This is Step 4, Step 5 and Step 6. 
read it write down in your notebook and go through it because mcq type question in steps mein se aa sakte hain step number 7 this step number 7 we will use in the case of allocation in the case of allocation and after allocation agar hame modification ke liye jana pada when what is the when we use modification steps when number of rows not equal to number of hmm, allocation then in that case we go for a modification this is step number 7 what is modification steps afterwards step number 8 if minimum number of lines less than order of matrix then step number 9 step number 10 and this is the note read all these points very carefully let's start some practice ki allocation kaise kiya jata hai i will explain you how to allocate now for allocation we have to find single zero in the first row pehle row mein single zero dono dekho isme single zero hai yes sir agar aapko single zero milega usko allocate kar do this square box is called as allocation ye jo square jaisa box hai isi ko bola jata hai allocation सिंगल जीरो जैसी आपको रो में मिलेगा इन द सेम कॉलम अगर कोई जीरो है आपको डब्ल्यू वन रो में सिंगल जीरो मिल गया यहाँ पे अब आपको देखना है जे थ्री में कोई जीरो है क्या अगर कोई जीरो होगा तो आप उसे क्रॉस कर देंगे ओके डब्ल्यू वन में सिंगल जीरो मिला वो सिंगल जीरो मिला जे थ्री में जे थ्री में अगर कोई भी जीरो होगा तो आप उसे क्रॉस करेंगे नाउ नेक्स्ट स्टेप सिमिलरली नेक्स्ट स्टेप W2 में सिंगल जीरो यस सिंगल जीरो मिला तो J2 में देखना है कि और कोई जीरो है तो क्रॉस इज देर एनी जीरो कमेंट बॉक्स में डालो यस वेरी गुड नो सर तो आपको क्या करना है अगर कोई सिंगल जीरो होता तो हम क्रॉस करते चलो नेक्स्ट W3 थ्री इज देर एनी सिंगल जीरो ये तो आपका क्रॉस हो गया था पहले से ही बच्चों इज देर एनी सिंगल जीरो आंसर इज नो डब्ल्यू फोर इज देर एनी सिंगल जीरो नो सिंगल जीरो चाहिए देर आर डबल मोर देन वन जीरो है बच्चो छोड़ दो Now row operation complete. Then go for column operation. Is there any single zero in J1? Yes. Column wise, ये हमको कहाँ से मिला बच्चों? ये हमने column में देखा तो हमें मिला. Now J2, J3 में already allocation है. Is there any single zero in J4? Yes. यदि आपको ये column में single zero मिला, आपका row का single zero बच्चों क्या हो जाएगा? Cross. देखो आपको J1 में single zero मिला, तो in the same row ये वाला जीरो क्रॉस हो जाएगा ना इन दिस केस देर आर ओनली थ्री अलोकेशन वन टू एंड थ्री देर आर थ्री अलोकेशन सो वी से दैट हियर नंबर ऑफ रोज नॉट इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ कॉलम्स सो इन दिस केस वी गो फॉर मॉडिफिकेशन वो बच्चों हम न्यूमेरिकल्स में डिस्कस कर लेंगे नाउ इन द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल लेट एस सी In this example, is there any single zero? Yes. This is the single zero. Is column me koi zero hoga? Cross. Second row, is there any single zero? Yes. Column me koi zero hai? No sir. Chalo so, third row, is there any single zero? Yes. Column me hai? Cross. Is there any single zero? Yes. Okay. This method is called as allocation. So let's see one more explain kar deta. Bacho, aap dhyan se dekh lijiye. Is there any single zero? Yes. तो कॉलम वाला कैंसल हुआ था नाउ हियर इज देर एनी सिंगल जीरो यस कॉलम में है क्या नहीं है छोड़ दो थर्ड रो इज देर एनी सिंगल जीरो नो फोर्थ रो इज देर एनी सिंगल जीरो नो कॉलम वाइज इज देर एनी सिंगल जीरो यस कॉलम में मिला कॉलम में मिला तो रो का क्रॉस तो यहाँ पे इन दिस एग्जाम्पल नंबर ऑफ अलोकेशन Not equal to number of rows oblique column, and in this example, number of allocation is equal to number of rows oblique column. In this case, we further pro proceed for modification, and in this case, we are going to find the solution. so i explain two cases case 1 case 2 so bacho this is the revision of assignment problem let us solve the practicals problem now 
activity. Question number one. M1, M2, M3, M4. How many rows count? There are four machines and there are four jobs. In assignment problem, it is necessary. It is necessary that number of rows should be equal to number of columns. If number of rows not equal to number of columns, we will draw dummy row or dummy column. Here there are four rows and four columns. The number of rows is equal to number of columns. Now step one. Subtract the smallest element in each row. What is the smallest element in the first row? The smallest element in the first row is 40. So you have to row from first row minus 40 minus 40. Like 40 minus 40, 0. Okay. 40 minus 40, 0. 50 minus 40, gaya, 10. 60 minus 40, gaya, 20. 65 minus 40, gaya, 15. And so on. Now see, this is the 65 minus 40, gaya, 25. Sorry, bachi, 25. Now see, this is the ये J1 की एंट्री आ गई 0 10 20 एंड 25 सिमिलरली यू कैन प्रोसीड फॉर ईच एंड एवरी एंट्री व्हाट इज द मिनिमम एलिमेंट इन द सेकंड रो द मिनिमम एलिमेंट इन द सेकंड रो इज 30 तो J2 में से आपको 30 माइनस करना है व्हाट इज द मिनिमम एलिमेंट इन J3 दैट इज 25 तो आपको J3 में से 25 माइनस करना है व्हाट इज द मिनिमम एलिमेंट इन J4 तो 39 तो वी शुड सबट्रैक्ट 39 फ्रॉम J4 you will get this matrix. After that, after getting this, we go for column minima. We column minima. Ke liye jana hai. Subtract the smallest element in each column. But you fill in the blanks. Mein kya column of the assignment matrix obtained in step 1 from every element in that column. Now, see here. In the previous step, what is the smallest element in M1 column wise? Abhi hume column wise jana hai. Let us proceed for column wise. What is the smallest element in the first column? Answer is 0. Second column is smallest element 6. Third column is smallest element 12. Fourth column is smallest element that is 18. So first column is 0 minus karna hai. Second column may say 6 minus karna hai. From third column we subtract 12. From fourth column we subtract 18. After subtracting you will get this matrix. That is step two completed. After this, cover all the zeros with minimum number of straight line. Now, what are the elements? The elements. I have step two. Mein karke dikha tha, that is step three. So, what do you have to do? You have to find out. See here, the maximum number of zeros. The maximum number of zeros in the first column. So, your first column is cut. Then, what is the maximum number of zeros? You will see that the maximum number of zeros fourth column. Mein hai. Next, maximum number of zeros in the last row. So, this is the number of lines we have to draw. This is the method we draw the number of lines. Now, what is the method says that? Method says that number of lines should be same as number of row and number of columns. Here, number of rows are 4, number of columns are 4, but there is only 3 lines. That means, it means that as the number of lines required to cover all zeros is less than number of rows or column, optimal solution has not reached. The optimal solution nahi aa sakta. Optimal solution kab aega? Jab number of line is equal to number of rows of the column. Now step 4. What is step 4? Select the smallest element. The out of this element, the smallest element kaun sa hai? Chaliye. What is the smallest element? See here everyone. From uncover element. The smallest element from uncover element is 2. So, what is number smallest element? Smallest element is 2. What do you do with 2? This is the intersection. What do you do add? What do you do with intersection? What do you do with add? What do you do with the line? Uncover. Uncover element is the line pass. Example 4, 8, 2, 4. 2, 4. These elements are called as uncovered element. These elements are called as uncovered element. Uncovered element mein aapko kya karna hai bachyo? Smallest element ko subtract karna hai. Uncovered element mein kya karna hai? Subtract. And afterwards, last mein aapko kya karna hai? 
जो एलिमेंट पे केवल लाइन पाथ हुई है दैट इज दिस वन दिस थ्री एंड दिस थ्री इसमें आपको एज इट इज लिख देना है नो चेंज एज इट इज लेट एस अप्लाई ऑल दिस स्टेप्स इन दिस ये स्टेप्स में आप ये तीनों स्टेप्स अप्लाई करो बच्चों यू विल गेट दिस स्टेप आपको ये स्टेप्स मिल जाएगा ट्राई योर सेल्फ मैंने स्टेप्स बता दिए नाउ आफ्टर डूइंग दिस वंस अगेन आपको क्या करना है नंबर ऑफ लाइंस ड्रॉ करनी है लेट अस सी देर आर थ्री जीरो मैक्सिमम जीरो इसमें है देन टू जीरो देन अगेन टू जीरो देन दिस जीरो वी सी दैट नाउ द नंबर ऑफ लाइन इज फोर नंबर ऑफ रो इज फोर एंड नंबर ऑफ कॉलम इज ऑल्सो फोर सो नाउ ऑप्टिमल सोल्यूशन आपको मिल जाएगा बच्चों सो लेट एस प्रोसीड टू द नेक्स्ट स्टेप हमने क्या किया अलोकेशन किया अलोकेशन आप कैसे करोगे सी यर यहाँ पे आपको अलोकेशन मैंने करके दिया है जो मैंने वीडियो के बिगनिंग में बताया है आप वीडियो के बिगनिंग में देखिए और अलोकेशन ट्राई करिए आफ्टर अलोकेशन आप देख सकते हैं जे वन गोज टू एम वन दैट इज दिस इज जे वन जे वन गोज टू एम वन जे वन किस को गया ये देखिए ये अलोकेशन है जे वन गोज टू एम वन जे टू गोज टू एम टू जे थ्री गोज टू एम फोर एंड जे फोर गोज टू एम थ्री नाउ फ्रॉम वेयर यू विल गेट कॉस्ट यू विल गेट दिस कॉस्ट फ्रॉम द ओरिजिनल मैट्रिक्स ओरिजिनल मैट्रिक्स में जो नंबर है बच्चों वो है फाइन द टोटल ऑफ दिस यू विल गेट रुपीज वन सेवेंटी टू इज द मिनिमम कॉस्ट लेट एस प्रोसेड टू द नेक्स्ट सम नाउ हियर देर आर थ्री कॉलम्स and there are four rows so here number of rows not equal to number of columns to hum log ne kya kiya bachcho yahan pe dummy add kar diya this is called as dummy column dummy column mein sare entries zero ho gayi now after that subtract all the elements now in the row aapko row mein dekhoge in the row द स्मॉलेस्ट एलिमेंट इज जीरो तो जब भी सारे रो में स्मॉलेस्ट एलिमेंट जीरो होगा आप माइनस करोगे तो मैट्रिक्स पे कोई भी चेंजेस नहीं आएगा सो रो मिनिमा एज इट इज नाउ इन द कॉलम वट इज द स्मॉलेस्ट एलिमेंट इन द फर्स्ट कॉलम इज स्मॉलेस्ट इज जीरो सेकेंड कॉलम स्मॉलेस्ट जीरो थर्ड कॉलम स्मॉलेस्ट जीरो इन द फोर्थ कॉलम द स्मॉलेस्ट एलिमेंट इज सेवन ओके सो मिनिमम एलिमेंट ऑफ इच रो इज सप्रेक्टेड फ्रॉम Each row. This is the row minima, which is already explained. Now, after that, minimum element in each column is subtracted from this. So here, the minimum element is zero. In the second column, minimum element zero. Third column, the minimum element is zero. In the fourth column, the minimum element is seven. Okay. so here 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 subtract all elements from the highest so steps kya likha bachcho dekho subtract all the elements from the highest element टू नेक्स्ट टू नेक्स्ट वी आर गिवेन द परफॉर्मेंस मैट्रिक्स आपको ये मैट्रिक्स दिया देर आर फोर रोज एंड देर आर थ्री कॉलम्स हमें क्या करना है बच्चों हमें डमी कॉलम एड करना होगा क्यों बिकॉज number of rows not equal to number of columns so we add dummy column where each entry is zero so you will get this step step one over step two subtract all elements from the highest element okay is pure matrix mein highest element kon hai seven to question kehta hai steps kehta hai activity sam mein bachcho jo keh raha hai waisa karna hai the highest element is seven aapko seven mein se sabko minus karna hai 
that means 7 minus 7, 7 minus 3, 7 minus 5, 7 minus 0, 7 minus 2, 7 minus 7, 7 minus 4, 7 minus 0, and so on. You will get this matrix. After that, we go for row minima. Now, what is the minimum element in the first row? 0. In the second row, 0. In the third row, 1. In the fourth row, 0. So, you have to say 0 minus karna hai, second row, mein se 0, third row, mein se 1, fourth row, mein se 0. You will get step 3. For step 4, in the column, in the column minima, what is the minimum element in first column? 0. Minimum element from second column? 0. Minimum element from third column? 0. Minimum element from fourth column is? 0. So, there is no change. If in each and every column, minimum element is 0, there is no change. So, this will be the same. Now, after that, we go for allocation. We go for allocation. Dekhe, in the first row, single zero. So, this allocate ho gaya. Column mein jo zero hai, wo cancel ho jayega. In the second row, this is the zero. Column mein koi zero bhi nahi hai. Third row, this is the zero. In the fourth row, this is the zero. So, this is called as allocation. This is called as allocation. And finally, you will find the optimal assignment. Next question. Given the following matrix, there are five rows, five columns. Well, it is balanced the assignment problem. Now, smallest element from each row. First row is smallest one, hai, second row is two, third row is one, fourth row is one, fifth row is one. Subtract, karenge, you will get this step. Now, after that, column minima. In this step, what is the minimum element? Zero, zero. 0, 1, 0. So, keval column, uh, column number 4 change hoga bacho. Baki as it is rahega. Check this. This is your step number 2. Now, after this, we are going to draw number of lines which cover all the zeros. Let us see. So, here, lines draw karenge bacho. Let us see how to draw the lines. सबसे ज्यादा जीरो की रो में है चेक करो फर्स्ट रो में 1 0 सेकंड रो में 2 0 2 0 2 0 तो आपके इस रो में दो जीरो हैं बच्चों देयर आर टू जीरोस देयर आर टू जीरोस नाउ आफ्टरवर्ड्स 1 0 एंड 1 0 वी कैन सी दैट कि देयर आर फाइव लाइंस एंड फाइव रोस एंड फाइव कॉलम्स तो ऑप्टिमल सॉल्यूशन हमें मिल जाएगा बच्चों let us proceed. After this, we go for allocation. This is the allocation and this is the final answer. That is called as assignment schedule. Solve yourself and verify your answer. Now, there are four tasks, A, B, C, D and subordinates before. Hai. So, number of row is equal to number of columns. But you have many step by step of solve. You have to solve your answers and verify your answers. Ko verify these are the steps. But so, you have to write this way as we have written it. These are the proper method how to write you in your practical exams. Go through it, read it properly. Question number two. There are four rows and there are five columns. So, it is unbalanced assignment problem. Unbalanced assignment problem. So, Five columns say four rows. Hai. So we are going to add dummy rows. So you can see that we have dummy row add. What is add? Kiya hai, dummy row. Afterwards, we are going to find the row minima. This is row minima. Then we are going to find the column minima. Since her column mein, each, in each column, in each column there is a zero. So call, the matrix remains unchanged. Mala, column minima is not required. You can write steps in this Step 4, since number of straight line covering all zero is not equal to number of rows, optimal solution has not reached. Then, step 5, we go for modification. Step 5 is modification. That means, you have uncover element means is, is a smallest element find out karna hai, or uncover element means subtract karna hai, intersection may add karna hai, and remaining element as it is. 
Now, step number five, after allocation, you will get assignment schedule. The final answer is 66 rupees. But so, this is the page pura ka pura solution diya of the same problem in one page. Take a screenshot of it. Next, solve the following unbalanced. Yeah, pehle se bita diya unbalanced. Assignment problem for maximizing total. Now, see here. Yaha pe likha hai, solve the following unbalanced assignment problem. But bacho, it is, it is balanced assignment problem. Yaha pe printing error hai. Because we see that there are three rows to hume dikhi raha hai, or three columns dikh raha hai. So it is, Unbalanced नहीं है बच्चों, it is balanced assignment problem. तो question होना चाहिए, solve the following assignment problem. ये बार आप cut कर दो. Solve the following assignment problem for maximize. Now maximize में क्या करना है बच्चों? आपको पूरे matrix में सबसे बड़ा element find out करना है. What is the maximum element? Maximum element is eight. Okay, maximum element is eight. तो so, 8 में से सबको माइनस करना है like 8 minus 6 8 minus 2 8 minus 5 8 minus 2 and so on after doing this you will get you will get you will get this matrix after that go for row minima after that since in each column zero hai so column minima ki zarurat nahi hai after that draw minimum number of lines Check that he was satisfied karta hai ki nahi. So number of straight line equal to number of rows and columns. Optimal solution reached. Find the optimal solution. That is assignment schedule. You will get rupees 22. Okay. That's all, bacho. So in today's lecture, we completed practical number 4, assignment problem. Hope that aapko sari chidhe achche se samjhi hongi. Bacho, mein jada detail mein nahi ja raha hon. But I am overall over the overview of the overview. You can see it well. And if you don't have any assignment problems, you can see my assignment videos. You will get to know this chapter. Okay, bacho. in the next lecture, we are going to solve practical number 15. That is on sequencing. Okay, everyone. Bye, everyone. Hope a great, hope a great day. Like it, subscribe it and share it. Bye, everyone.